I flew 24 missions in the B-24, was shot down in the 24th, just had one more to go and I would have gone home. I had a pilot from California, I had a gunner from Montana, I have a bombardier from Ohio, a co-pilot from Colorado, a gunner from Virginia. So we were a cross-section of the whole United States. There was an airplane very close to us, B-24, B and I looked away, the other way, and I looked back again, and it was nothing but a big puff of smoke. You could have 100, 500 flak guns down there shooting at you. The plane on the right of us gets hit, the plane on the left of it gets hit, they go down, and we get hit. On the second run, uh, I unfortunately ran right over the top of a uh, ak, ak gun, and he blew, put both my engines on fire. When we went operational, it was said that uh, there was only a 25% chance that we would be alive if we flew the 25 missions. Voilà. Lorsque j'avais 9 ans, c'est ici que j'ai vu le corps du lieutenant Quinn. Cette vision est restée gravée dans ma mémoire. Jamais je ne l'ai oublié. J'ai entrepris des recherches pour savoir quelle était l'identité de ce pilote. J'ai reçu le dossier du lieutenant Russell Quinn. J'ai donc ensuite entrepris les recherches pour retrouver sa famille. John Paul had given us wreckage from the plane, several pieces, and I, I brought one home and made this out of box. And uh, it's just. Uh, good to know what really happened. Les familles souvent pensent que 50 ans, 60 ans après, on a tous oublié les drames vécus par toutes ces, ces familles. The 8th Air Force had a tremendous effect on the end of the war. The Germans had a problem with fuel supplies, all kinds of supplies, and this is a result of the bombing by the 8th Air Force and the Royal Air Force. Et elle a perdu également cette 8th Air Force. Plus de 26 000 morts et 47 000 blessés. Rendez-vous compte un peu le nombre de victimes que cela représente pour une seule unité qui était la 8e Air Force.